What's your biggest turnoff in guys? Probably when they don't work out. Don't <laughs> really? Stuff, yeah. What? Wait, man. <laughs> so what do you guys prefer in a guy? Really rich. Really black. At least 6'5". 6'5"? Six, five. Six, five? Yeah. Oh. She's 6'5". He's got to be taller, you know? You know? Yeah, just lots of money, really. Yeah. Like a, a yacht and stuff? Yeah, yeah. That kind of thing. Um, can buy me fancy things. Take me on trips. Pay my rent. Between men or women, who has a harder life? Absolutely women. Why? We bleed for a uh, week a month. Um, we are f***ing... We're sexualized everywhere we go. You get like catcalled? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. The parking lot tenant tried to steal me before. Not me. Anyone try to steal <laughs> you today? We can. We can. No. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Let's go. I got like 20 girlfriends back at the crib. Oh, yeah. 22 then. I'm okay. <laughs> 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 Look, the delusion is real. The delusion is real, folks. You can tell that a lot of these women, all they do is just regurgitate what they've heard. You know, damn well you don't deserve the man that you're talking about. No discipline. You don't care how you look. And the one right there, she, the one with the pink shorts on, she said we bleed once a month. A lot of women that are obese like that, they don't even get periods. That's all messed up. The whole pH balance thing is messed up too. They're tired. They got all these issues. I really wish women would stop acting like this is acceptable, not just for society or for men, but for themselves. That is unhealthy. Men are going to look at that and say, well, how much longer do she have? What is she going to teach my children? She don't even seem to care about herself that much. Yes, men think about these type of things. But there's so many women like this that think they deserve it. They think they deserve the tall man with the money, with the body. Like she said, oh, if he doesn't work out, that's, that's a deal breaker when you ain't hit the gym probably ever. Holding up food to your mouth is not a workout. Walking down the pier looking for food is not a workout. I'ma call it what it is. A spade is a spade. The double standard is real. And again, for those of you who don't know, I have been involved in health and fitness for about 15 years. So I will speak on this because I don't, don't like to see women cheat themselves. I don't like to see anybody uh, keep themselves from being the best that they could be, to be at optimal performance, to be at the peak of their endurance or whatever it is because we all deserve that. And I think a lot of women constantly cheat themselves out of that because they listen to other women just like she has a co-signer, they both have a co-signer because they're friends. They cheer this shit on. This is part of their behavior. This is acceptable. This is the go girl, you're still a 10 mentality. This is keeping a lot of women single, a lot of women obese, and it's really messing with a lot of these women's head because they believe this shit so much and then when they go out into society, they constantly get turned down. They constantly get put in reality, just like he had to say, no, thank you. I'm not interested. Now, they tried to laugh it off, but internally that burns them up. But my question to women like this is, why don't you change it? Why don't you become the best version of you, period? I'm not talking about your attitude. I'm talking about just your body, just your health. Because if you got all of that in order, your whole mindset would change. Now, you can do whatever it is you want to do. If you want to walk around being three, 400 pounds and trying to squeeze in the dresses and pants and, you know, telling yourself that everybody should just deal with you and handle you because you deserve to look any kind of way that you want to look, that's totally your choice. You just fooling yourself. That's all. If you truly want to be happy, and this applies to men and women, if you truly want to be happy, you need to be the best version of yourself at all times. If you don't do that, 
something, you're just going to keep getting the outcomes that you get because everybody is not going to accept that. Now, you might hear somebody in my comments say, well, Reef, somebody will like them. She'll be able to find somebody. Yeah, probably. But it won't be the person that she wants. It won't be the person that she truly desires. She's going to have to settle. And these women, they look like they're probably in their 20s. You can lose that weight, still young. You can still bounce back from that, so to speak. You know, that rubber band may still snap back. But the longer you wait, the harder it's going to get. The longer you wait, the more health problems you can have. The longer you wait, the less likely it is that you will find the man that you want. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.